79 degrees here in Miami Gardens. A little bit of wind, partly cloudy. That's the forecast the rest of the day. Before we get things started, let's bring in the third member of our crew and a happy new year to Evan Washburn down on the field. Evan. Happy new year, Ian. Well, as we approach kickoff, there's a growing concern and some frustration with the conditions of the surface of this field. The Orange Bowl was played on this field Friday night, so it required some repair. The area that the players are spending the most time, coaches as well, is at the 50-yard line where the trophy presentation was held. All new turf laid down there, and it is a different surface from the hashes and other areas. Now, this isn't uncommon. This is the fifth time where two games have been played on this surface in a weekend, but in a game where everybody wants to get out healthy, it'll be worth monitoring how guys handle this surface. Guys? All right, Evan, thanks very much. And, Dan, I know you were very excited that both Florida State and Michigan were at our hotel as well. Yeah, a lot of action. A lot of big celebrating going on, you bet, uh, especially on the Florida State sideline. But that's a, a key point that Evan made about, you know, this is an important game as far as seeding, but both teams are in the playoffs, and they need everybody healthy as they uh, head that way. Miami won the toss. They have deferred to the second half. So Andrew Franks will kick it off. Deion Lewis is the deep man for New England. Patriots trying to win their 14th game. And the Dolphins enter action at 10 and 5. First playoff appearance since 2008. This will be a touchback. New England will have it at the 25. It's been a struggle for the New England Patriots. Last three trips to Miami. And again, Brady has missed some practice time this week. Nursing a sore thigh. The outstanding offensive line in New England has done a great job of protecting him all along. Only 15 sacks on the season. Tom Brady, his two lowest passing yardage totals came in the last two games. But he's got 25 touchdowns and two interceptions. He's in the MVP conversation. What a season he has put together, abbreviated after the four-game suspension. Open up from the 25. Brady on a toss to Lewis. Lewis makes two men miss. A lot of running for Lewis after the catch, but picks up only four yards. McCain whiffed initially on Deion Lewis. Now James White will come in. Lewis heads to the sidelines. They have that three-headed monster with Lewis, Blunt, and White. Last week, blowout win over the New York Jets. 41-3 route. Toss it to White, had a touchdown reception last week, and he spun down for no gain on the play. So New England faces third down. Starting offense for the New England Patriots. Great bounce back here for Nate Solder on injured reserve last year with a torn right bicep. Chris Hogan, former member of the Miami Dolphins practice squad early in his career. Leads the NFL 19.1 yards per reception this season in his first with the Patriots. It's a third and six for the Pats. First possession of the day. Brady operating out of the gun. And a timeout called by New England early. A minute 20 into this opening quarter. Defensively for the Miami Dolphins, we mentioned it at the top of the show, the rankings are not very good. Number 30 in total defense, Cameron Wake, pro bowler, 11 and a half sacks this season, coming off the injured Achilles. Neville Hewitt continues to start. Jelani Jenkins forced to sit it out once again. Jenkins dealing with a knee injury. They hope to have him back for the playoffs. And in the secondary, they are really banged up. Michael Thomas has done very good work. Issa abdul Caduce is done for the year. They lost Rashad Jones earlier in the season. Byron Maxwell is out with an ankle injury. Bobby McCain plays in the nickel for Miami. Third and six after the timeout. Motion man Hogan, Brady. Brady will run for the first down. He takes a shot as he crosses the 35. Six-yard pickup. And Brady may have an equipment issue. Well, when he went down, that knee, knee brace kind of got stuck in the ground. That's why he couldn't get down before he takes this lick. So they're going to have to get the grass out of it. Uh, that's a legal shot. It was not to the head of Brady, although as a running back here, that would have been okay. 
but he could, did not have time to get down. You can see how that knee brace just digs into this uh, hard rock field. New set of downs for New England. A shy of a 36. Lewis gets the call, and there's nothing there. First man there is Cameron Wake for Miami, limiting Lewis to a one-yard pickup. And when you talk about the strength of this Miami defense, it's obviously up front with Wake and Sue and Mitchell and Branch. In fact, uh, Vance Joseph told me that Wake and Branch gives this entire defense energy with the way that they play with such passion and enables this defense to play faster. 25 takeaways for the Miami defense, sixth in the NFL. They've had 19 since week nine. Brady, little trickery to Edelman. Can he get the corner? He can, but he stumbles. So footing has been an issue here early. That's five yards, make it six for Edelman based on the spot. Now check out the block here of Nate Solder. He's going to come back here and peel off middle linebacker Kiko Alonso. It's going to be a legal block right about there, or that's a little bit questionable. What's not unquestionable is the fact that Brady gets hit by Wake. Third and three. Brady steps up, fires. Oh, what hands by Edelman. First down, Patriots. A high throw. Edelman handles it. Pazinger, the linebacker in coverage. That's a 20-yard hookup for New England. Yeah, Pazinger gets in this throwing lane, so Tom has to throw it a little bit high. Tremendous concentration. As it bobbles, he keeps his eye, knows where the ball is going behind him, locates it, makes the grab before contact. Brady put it over Jason Jones, who is six foot five. 46! Coming up on the 11 minute mark of the first. Devlin, the fullback, is in. Shifts out of the backfield. LeGarrette Blunt. Nice patience there by Blunt. Gang tackled as he crossed the 35. Terrence Fade, they're rotating defensive linemen here on the opening series. Now, this is a 250 pound back in Blunt who uses great patience here. Then that one foot in the ground cut, 250 pounds, he doesn't have any problem with making a hard cut or slipping on this field. Four straight games with a rushing touchdown. Adam Gase watching the New England offense move down the field. Miami could not get New England off the field, converting on a couple of third downs. Second and five after the five-yard run by Blunt. Brady straight back, guns it underneath. And it's Lengel who had his first NFL catch, which was a touchdown. Last week in the victory over New England, Pazinger holding on for dear life, and big Matt Lengel at 6'7", 266 from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, picks up four yards. And Brady quickly to the line of scrimmage to limit any defensive substitutions here on third and short. They picked up Lengel from the Cincinnati practice squad. They need one yard, they get it. With Dion Lewis out near the 25. Jason Jones in on that stop. It's a three-yard game for Lewis. And they can mix and match with different styles. The fact that Lewis brings something different than Blunt, James White, more of a pass-catching threat. And while they're not deep at wide receiver, Josh McDaniels can move the pieces around for creativity. Yeah, and starting fast has always been a major signature of this Patriot offense led by Josh McDaniels. Tenth play of the drive. Fake it. Brady. Open man over the middle, Martellus Bennett, and leans across the 15. 11 yards and a first down, Bakari Rambo with a tackle. 53 catches now on the season for Martellus Bennett. Brady quickly after the fake gets the ball to him behind the linebackers, but you can see the effect that that play fake had on the second year player Neville Hewitt as he bit on the fake and that opened up Bennett behind him. New England in the red zone, ranked in the top 10 in touchdown percentage in the league. Brady's a perfect 5-5 five five running point. Deion Lewis squeezes through. It's hit short of the five-yard line. Earl Mitchell could not bring him down initially, and Lewis turns it into an eight-yard run. Now, Lewis has the uncanny ability to make guys miss or never take on a square shot. He'll turn his shoulders one way or the other, and tacklers, even as big as Earl Mitchell at 310, Seemed to bounce off him. 12th play of the drive. Five completions to five different receivers for Brady. 
Working out of the gun on a second and two. Patriots trying to strike first. It's a give. Lewis, stutter step. Lewis still going. They'll stand him up, but he gets enough for the first down. Needed two, picked up four. And it's a first and goal inside the five for the Patriots. Now you talked about the effectiveness of Brady spreading it around, but you know the big running play on this drive? The third down conversion by Brady for six yards. We saw the raw speed of Brady. Raw? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the word? Well, it's not very mature. Well, I don't know. It, he got it, though, right? First and goal. Fake it to block. Brady tosses. Touchdown! Martellus Bennett. Brady lofts it up for the tight end. And the Patriots go in front on a time-consuming opening drive. 13 plays, 75 yards. It took seven and a half minutes. Uh, here's Donald Butler right here. Watch the play fake, and that allows Bennett to get right in behind him. Outside shade played there that time by Michael Thomas. And Bennett, he did this last week with a short touchdown pass deep in the red zone. Six for six now for Brady and 41 yards. And that third down conversion run. Rob Gronkowski, back surgery in November. Obviously, they miss him, but this team has gone 7-0 without Gronk this year. Martellus Bennett has been a tremendous pickup as Goskowski tacks on the extra point. Brady, perfect so far at South Florida. After NCIS, new CBS Tuesday. Another touchdown for Martellus Bennett. Had one last week against the Jets. That's seven now on the season for Bennett, culminating a long drive for New England. New career high for Bennett. Now it is ninth year in the NFL, previously with Dallas, the Giants, Chicago. And it's been the perfect fit for Bennett and the Pats. And really a smart acquisition in the offseason. They were saying, well, why do they need Michael Bennett, or Martellus Bennett even? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Well, injuries happen, and Gronk has had a history of injuries lately. And Michael, by the way, has a new contract. Finally got that extension with Seattle, Martellus' and brother. Jakeem Grant not going to take it out of the end zone. The Dolphins will have it at the 25. Matt Moore will get his first opportunity against the New England D when we come back. Yeah. Back in Miami, the Dolphins will play either at Pittsburgh or at Houston in the wild card round. We'll know that by the end of today. Could still get that number five seed currently in the six hole in the AFC. First possession of the day for the Miami offense come out in a three receiver set. Handed to Ajayi and he runs into a wall for a gain of a half a yard on first down. It's a perfect play fake to uh, Blunt and it uh, really concerns Alonzo and Butler. And why not? Because uh, Watch the effect on these two linebackers. I mean, Blunt's been in the end zone 17 times on the ground, so that's your first thought as a linebacker. And Bennett slips into the back of the end zone for the easy pitch and catch. Second and long here for Miami. Make the jet sweep, give it to Ajayi, and he gets caught by Flowers. He'll get a gain of one, but Flowers got him right at the line of scrimmage. Good penetration there from the New England defense. Matt Moore. Nine-year veteran stepping in for the injured Ryan Tannehill. His teams are 11-4 and four in his 15 career starts. That goes back to the Carolina days as well. He's been an excellent backup, a super sub for Miami, and a lot of confidence that he brings to the field and that the team has in him when he's in the huddle. There was some movement. We get a flag, and John Perry will fill us in. Jawan James on that right side. Shifted. Ball start. Offense from the 70. Five yard penalty. Third down. That's one of those uh, mistakes you just can't afford to have against a Dolphin defense, especially the, as well as they're playing at this point of the season. And in talking to that confidence of Matt Moore, he, he told me that because of that experience he's had over the years, he, he's confident he can get it done. He likes today's game plan and the unique talents of his three yeah, yeah, yeah. wideouts, Landry, Stills, and Parker. So that you have to take what New England gives you, be patient. You can learn a lot from the first two possessions what the game plan is. Flips it high in the air. He was drilled as he tossed it to Damian Williams, and it's incomplete. Trey Flowers 
getting to the veteran quarterback, and Miami goes three and out. Yeah, a couple of big plays by Flowers here in the uh, first drive, playing as a nose tackle, goes right around Urbic, and he affects this ball by about a yard because uh, there was a wide open receiver down the sidelines, and Williams might have gone a long way, but except for that big hit by Flowers. No time of possession right now. Miami just possessed the football for a minute 37. We'll pick it up. Coming off a seven and a half minute drive by the New England offense. Matt Darr, the punt. Edelman will not touch it. Penalty marker thrown at the 18 yard line as that ball floats out of bounds right around the 40 and closer to the 45. So New England right now would have the football at the 44-yard line on a 28-yard punt. Yeah, this will be refused. This is great field kick, position. Holding. Kicking team number 46. New England has elected the 10-yard penalty to be added to the dead ball spot. Absolutely. First and 10, New England, timeout. Makes it an 18-yard net then. Tom Brady's going to take over in Miami territory already with a 7 and 9 islands where you can vacation or buy a passport. That's right, passports and citizenship for sale tonight only. CBS. Patriots open up at the 45 of Miami. Play action. Brady looking downfield, has the time. Brady upstairs through the hands of Edelman. Ranging over Tony Lippett, and that is Brady's first incompletion of the day. Yeah, he got great pass protection last week against the Jets. Again, he had a lot of time to check out Edelman he wanted Hogan deep down the middle but Lippitt with great coverage there on Edelman cost that incompletion Julian Edelman 91 catches on the season he's closing in on a thousand yards would be his second thousand yard season 12th drop pass of the year for Edelman he's tied for the lead in that category give it to block LeGarrette block Busting it to the outside. David Andrews with a key block. The starting center. And that's a 19-yard run for Blunt. This offensive line doing it, uh, protecting the quarterback. And then on a fake pass with the draw play, Blunt is going to take advantage of that block. Also, Bennett coming down, making a key block on Alonzo. And the Patriots are rolling again at the 26-yard line after a 19-yard gain. 53 rushing yards already for New England. Brady operating out of the gun. Give it to Blunt. Up the middle, LeGarrette Blunt sticks the helmet down into Bakari Rambo. Fantastic vision for a gain of nine. Let's check in with Evan. Well, and prior to the last series defensively for the Patriots, they lost their defensive communications, the headset into the helmet of Dante Hightower. Now, per rules, then things should shut down on the Dolphins' side. Have not heard an update to whether they've been fixed, but just something that's happening down here on the side, and we'll keep you updated as best we can. All right, thanks, Evan. Hightower active this week. He missed last week with a knee injury. LeGarrette Blunt, it's a three-yard game. And a first down for day in on the stop for Miami, but New England keeps this drive moving along. Well, after the first down incompletion, Brady has stayed on the ground to Blunt. And Blunt uh, is like that heavyweight puncher with all these body blows. Where's the team, defensive team down as the game goes on? Patriots are rotting a six game winning streak. They've allowed three points or fewer three times this season. Brady caught. Michael Floyd, Floyd battling to get to the end zone. Floyd extends his body for the touchdown. Catch and run for Floyd. The newest Patriot hits Pater. Tony Lippett could not keep him out of the end zone. 6-2, 220, and the, the desire to get his first Patriot touchdown from Tom Brady. Three Dolphins, four Dolphins here. Pacinger can't keep him out. Bobby McCain comes in late. Does he stretch out like Antonio Brown? It looked like he fell right on the goal line there with his left elbow. Tremendous effort. Think this guy's going to play a role in the postseason for New England? I think that's why they got him. I mean, Amendola's been out now, what, four weeks? And with the injury uh, to Malcolm Mitchell's knee last week, Another brilliant move by the front office of New England. 
Floyd played 18 snaps last week. Had just two targets, but we asked Tom Brady about it. Floyd. He said, look, he's worked really hard, a lot of time, extra time at the facility, trying to get up to speed. He said, I think he's ready. We'll have to see. I think he's ready. Yeah. That type of effort shows everybody he's ready. That's six different Dolphins that came over trying to stop Floyd. He gets his first pay Patriots are cruising in this first quarter. It's 14 to nothing, New England. Tom Brady, two touchdowns, which now gives him 27 on the season with just two interceptions. Talking about the best all time. No question. In a single season for Brady, that's number one. One more touchdown, he'll hold that record by himself. Kenyon Drake's going to take a knee, and the Dolphins will have it at the 25. That's touchdown to interception ratio. Nick Foles in 2013 had 27 touchdowns, two picks. Josh McCown with the Bears in a reserve role came in, became the starter. 13 touchdowns, one pick. Tom Brady missed the first four games of the season, serving the suspension. And on the road, Dan, 17 touchdowns, no interceptions for Brady. Uh, the numbers are ridiculous. 455 career touchdown passes now to just 152 interceptions. So Miami now in a 14-0 hole, 344 to go in the first. Ajayi. Patriots converge on Ajayi, led by a Landon Roberts and Allen Branch. Starting offense for Miami, Craig Urbic is back starting in the middle. Anthony Steen had been there, the youngster, Urbic, is an eight-year veteran. He's bounced around a bit. Backs and receivers, Devontae Parker, his best games as a pro have come against the New England Patriots. urbic has been with Pittsburgh, with Buffalo. Dolphins go empty here, second and eight. They have four yards of offense. Moore in trouble, gets out of it. Jabal Shear can't believe he didn't throw him down to the ground. And Moore picked off Logan Ryan. It went from bad to worse. Shear put the pressure. Moore turns it over. And it's all Patriots. Fell on CBS. Yeah, third pick of the season thrown by Matt Moore. This shows you how good the Patriots are coached here. This is Logan Ryan in the circle. Watch as he drops back here, reads the coverage of the quarterback. We'll get back to that as Blunt takes the ball in first down. But Logan Ryan drops back after shutting down the initial receiver on the out route. And he's going to drop back here to take Deion Lewis. Just a, it takes a long time to get there, but watch the, the reaction here. Takes away the short route and drops back for the pick. His second of the season. 47. The Patriots are now plus 98 in the first quarter this season. That's the highest point differential in the league. Getting off to strong starts once again. Chris Hogan with the catch, and that's good enough for a first down. Penalty marker thrown on the far side of the field at the 50. Line of scrimmage now just at the 46-yard line. Illegal use of hands, hands to the face, defense number 25. Penalties declined, result in play, first and 10, New England. Well, this has been rough for Matt Moore and the Dolphins, for Ryan Tannehill, a helpless feeling. Miami hoping to have Tannehill back for the playoffs. It's up to the doctors now in Tannehill, but Tannehill has the cast off that knee. 319! Strained ACL and MCL left leg. Deion Lewis still going after initial contact. Lewis can pick up yards. He's slippery, eight yard gain for Deion Lewis. Yeah, he's slippery and he has good low pad level. Terrence Fidea is going to come in here, number 78, and miss him there. And then after the contact by Howard, still is able to fall about three to four yards farther down the field. Well, that's what he told us. He uses his quickness. He uses his low center of gravity to his advantage. Edelman catch and run with a flag thrown. 
Xavier Howard could not bring him down initially. Rookie out there. Outside defense, number 97. Penalties decline, result of the play, first down. It was Jordan Phillips, and it doesn't matter. First down for New England, 120 to play in this opening quarter. He talked about a low center of gravity. The strength of Edelman's game besides his great hands are his great legs. Tremendous power. And at 5'10", which is kind of gracious, he can get low and, and make that first tackler miss. But another mistake for the Dolphins. Brady is 9 out of 10, 75 yards, two touchdowns. It has been a dominant opening quarter for New England. Edelman, motion man, on a first and 10, under a minute to go. Brady again the time. Brady hooks a pass. End zone! Broken up. Looking for Edelman. McCain and Edelman exchanging words. Michael Thomas wants a flag thrown. And he got it. Edelman is known to uh, chirp a little bit. May have chirped too much that time. John Perry. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 11. Down and count, second down, 15 yard penalty. Well, not only the chirp, it was. He pecked him. The peck. Yeah, I knew you would understand that bird. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Bird talk. Now he's got to be careful. Unsportsmanlike conduct, first offense. The next one, if he has one, he'd be ejected from the game. That would be the first mistake of the day for New England. No question. Patriots, 11 minutes and 34 seconds. They've had the football. Miami does not have a first down. Patriots have 11 of them and now face a second and 25. Devlin is in there. Give it to Lewis. Deion Lewis accelerates for four. Chopped down to the 35-yard line. We're down to 39 seconds to play in the first. First meeting was early, back on September the 18th. New England won the game 31 to 24. They led that game 31 to 3. Jimmy Garoppolo had three touchdowns, suffered a shoulder injury, and the Dolphins came back, made a game of it. Patriots held on for the win. New England is 7 and 0 on the road this season, trying to become the seventh team all time to go 8 and 0. Hold it. Push from behind. And that'll carry us to the end of the first quarter. 13 yards for Hogan. Lopsided in Miami. The Patriots 14. The Dolphins nothing will come back to South Florida after these messages. You're watching the NFL on CBS. We're at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. 14 nothing. New England leads it. This is a 40-yard attempt for Steven Guskowski. Went through his rough patch, but has recovered from that. Ryan Allen will hold it. And Guskowski right down the middle. Patriots take a 17 to nothing lead. We'll step away for 30 seconds and come back to South Florida. How to go live when something just happened in the game that left you completely flabbergasted. Wait, what? Did that one player slash coach slash mascot really just do that? You can't be the only one trying to make sense of this. So grab your phone, open Facebook, press this, and go live. Ask your friends if that actually happened. It did. Then debate how that's even possible. All right, just remember, there's still plenty of game left. New England trying to finish up undefeated on the road. You see what teams have done that have gone undefeated. San Francisco had worked for them at least the first two times around, won the Super Bowl in 1984 and 19. 89 this incredible run with the Kraft family owning the New England Patriots Robert Kraft Jonathan Kraft division champions for an NFL record eighth consecutive year and the ultimate positive that you're going to hear from other teams and other coaches and other GMs and owners Adam Gay said hey look there's no secret we are modeling our program after New England we've structured the system 
in order to try to build it the way that New England has now. Why it's tough to get Tom Brady. That's a big part of the component, but a huge part, but still the, uh, the organizational part. You're absolutely right. Kick it through the back of the end zone. Gostkowski, it's a touchback. NFL on CBS is now on CBS All Access. Stream your local games live. Go to cbs.com slash NFL now to try it for free. That's where the Dolphins, they need a big play, and the big play guy has to be Jarvis Landry. Leads them with 85 receptions on the year, but with his uh, style of play, he's one of those energy givers, and that's what this offense needs right now. 85 catches, 1,060 yards, three touchdowns for Landry. Handed off to Ajayi, running hard across the 30. Fans react after the hit by Rob Minkovich. The second quarter is underway, and Miami's in a 17 to nothing hole. Dolphins started the season 1-4. and four. They have had a stunning turnaround. Eight straight wins in games decided by a touchdown or less. So they're winning the close games. Adam Gase told us, hey, it's been an interesting ride. After that Tennessee game, the team really came together, made some roster moves, let everybody know that they were not messing around. Flags down. Ball start, offense number 80. Five-yard penalty, second down. It's Deion Sims. And Miami heading in the wrong direction. couple of running backs in there, Damian Williams and Kenyon Drake. They have depth at that running back position behind Ajayi. Williams, tremendous pass catcher. Drake, when he's touched the ball, he's made things happen. And they'll go empty. With more from the gun, second and long. Throwing on the move, tight window there. Kenny Stills was out of bounds, it's incomplete. This season for the Miami Dolphins turned the ball over 11 times, one and four through the first five games. Arian Foster was supposed to be the go-to guy at running back. He retires in October. Ajayi takes over. They dealt with injuries, including Mike Pouncey, done for the year, six starters in all. And then Ryan Tannehill goes down late in the season. They don't miss a beat. Matt Moore steps in. They've won nine of their last ten to make the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Underneath catch and run, Devontae Parker. First down at the 40-yard line. That one covers 14 yards. That's similar to what happened last week against Buffalo when they took one of these short crossing routes, bounced off a couple of tacklers, and went 56 yards for the touchdown. You can see he's got the size of 209 pounds and 6'3" to take on tacklers at that time Malcolm Butler it's the first first down of the day for the Dolphins Parker's had back-to-back 100-yard -back games against New England early stages second quarter Patriots 17 the Dolphins nothing final week of the regular season Ajayi shake and bake tossed down after the gain of five we asked Ajayi, how much do you have left in the tank? He said, oh, no, I'm just getting started. I feel good. This is what he always imagined that he could do in the NFL. He just had to wait for his opportunity, and it happened in his second year out of Boise State. Well, no, he went to Boise State because he had opportunity there. And that's what it's all about, is looking for it, finding it, and then taking advantage of it. Three 200-yard games in one season. Remarkable. Give it up to Jaquim Grant and only gains a yard after all that running. Patrick Chung combining with a Landon Roberts to bring him down. Yeah, one last point on Ajayi. He said he was recruited by a lot of Big 12 schools. We asked him why Boise State. But all those schools wanted him to be the number two running back. They didn't see him as a number one. His dad told him, hey, look, go where you're wanted. And that was the advice he took, and it worked out for him. Although he dropped in the draft to the fifth round. Third and four now for Miami. Working out of the gun from the 46. Moore, clean pocket. Pressure from behind, slings it, incomplete. Kenny Stills. Stills has been a big play guy, but he's had a case of the dropsies. 
Now, this is not his strong point. It's working across the middle. He's better deep down the field. This ball just off target. And he knows that Hightower is coming and just offers one hand at this pass. Dangerous pass back over the middle by Moore. But that ball's got to be hauled in if the Dolphins are going to keep this drive going. Would have been a tough catch, kind of catch that Jarvis Landry makes with regularity with one hand. Matt Barr, the high punt. Julian Edelman with a flag down behind him. Brought it in cleanly at the 19. The flag is at the 12. It's a 34-yard kick. Flag thrown along the sideline, so this uh, probably involved the gunner trying to get down to cover that punt. Longtime special teams coach Darren Rizzi is looking for the call and the information. Rizzi was Green retained. Holding return team number 22. After distance to the goal, first down. And it's Justin Coleman who's called on the penalty. Rizzi, one of the coaches that remained on the gay staff when he took over. New England and Dallas are the only teams with a top five scoring offense and a top five scoring defense. And the Patriots have looked the part today. Let Garrett Blunt spun down after the gain of five. And another good day for Tom Brady here in South Florida. This six yard run on a third and five picks up the first down. And then this third and three 20 yard hookup with Edelman. Play action fake to Bennett in the back of the end zone for two yards out. And then the tremendous effort by newcomer Michael Floyd as six different Dolphins try to keep him out of the end zone. Brady's now 10 of 12 for 88 yards and a couple of touchdowns. Keep it on the ground to Blunt. Not much there. No gain on the play for LeGarrette Blunt. 17 touchdowns this season for Blunt. That's a new Patriots record topping Curtis Martin's previous mark. He had 123 yards rushing against Miami back in week two. He's got 45 on the ground in this first half. And Bill Belichick's team faces a third and five. Five receiver set. 10.34 to go in the first half. Brady pulls the trigger. Julian Edelman. With a first down grab in front of Xavier Howard for nine. Yeah, what a surprise. A completion to Be Edelman on third down. Brady looked over the middle for Bennett and then came out to Mr. Reliable as he slides in safely for the first down. 183 total yards of offense for New England. Miami has been held to 30. New set of downs for the Patriots to work with. Just shy of the 25. Edelman, three catches today. 43 yards. Brady again. Tried to swing it to Lengel. Matt Lengel, torn ACL back in 2012, 2013. Began his college career at Northeastern, but they got rid of the football program. He then moved on to Eastern Kentucky, dealt with those injuries. That sheer size caught the attention of pro scouts. Was on the practice squad with Cincinnati. Got a phone call that New England was picking him up. And before he knew it, he was catching a touchdown pass in an NFL regular season game from Tom Brady last week against the Jets. Yeah, but it's all been downhill since that. Oh, really? A short reception today and then uh, that incompletion. Uh, you know, tough to live up to that. He, he might be a bust. Deion Lewis to the outside. And Lewis has got a first down. Was Dan's sarcastic tone, by the way? Oh, thank you for clearing that up. I wasn't sure myself. Watch the vision of Lewis as he bounces it all the way to the outside. He's looking that way to initially at the snap, sees a whole opening, and he uses his speed. But Kari Rambo, though, close to uh, creating a foul there as Lewis was going out of bounds. 47. Well, this is just a whitewash so far in the first half. Fake it. Brady gets rid of it. And Bennett is open. Martellus Bennett. They are shredding the Miami defense right now any way they want to. 18 yards on the pass play. Well, offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels 
He knows the riches that he has in that offensive huddle. And you're seeing it on this drive. Edelman with a catch. Lewis with a good run. Now the play action. Play action has been huge for the Patriots as of late because of how effective they've been on the running game with Blunt and Lewis and James White. Yeah, McDaniels and Gase know each other quite well. Gase served under McDaniels when he was the head coach in Denver. Knew each other from Michigan State under Nick Saban. Blunt can't get away from that initial wave. Tony Lippitt and Indomitian Sue. No gain on the play. Gase said that when he got to Denver under McDaniels, it refreshed his memory of how they did things at Michigan State under Saban. They were friends at Michigan State. And then when Gase was in San Francisco, McDaniels was a good contact for him as they would talk about being assistant coaches in the NFL, gaining knowledge. Initially, he went to Denver as the QB job. That's what he thought he was going to have, coaching the QBs, but it ended up being wide receivers, which gave him a different perspective as well. Brady to the outside. And Brady working the perimeter as James White gets involved. And New England on the move once again. That's seven yards for the Pats. We're down to 7.34 to go in this second quarter. And another third down coming up for this uh, Miami defense. They've only stopped my uh, Patriots just one time out of five. And that time of possession just continues to grow. 16 and a half minutes to just about six minutes. Miami came in number one in the NFL in third down defense, allowing a 34.8% conversion rate. Not the case today. Brady, third and three. Broken up and a flag down. Chris Hogan, the intended target. Bobby McCain, and he's reacting. Now this is one of those bang-bang plays. Who gets to the receiver first? Is it McCain or the ball? Pass interference, defense. Automatic first down. Well, apparently it's McCain. Yep. That's an eight-yard penalty and another first down. Now, the right arm around the back of Hogan, spinning Hogan, is what gets the call. If he doesn't spin him, this is not going to be pass interference. Wake held up as he got to Tom Brady. We asked Brady about Wake, and he said, yeah, no, I, I know him pretty well. I've been on my backside quite a few times because of him through the years. He said he's so quick around the edge, and he makes a very tight turn to the quarterback. To Lewis, trying to push the pile. That's a three-yard game. Phillips and Wake. NFL Today update. J.B. Boomer is in New York. Houston's backup quarterback. That's right. That's Tom Savage right there. Fourth and one. Goes on to a quarterback sneak. Gets the first down. But the officials take him out of the game and put him in concussion protocol. That means Brock Osweiler, the former number one quarterback of the Texans, now the starter. They are behind Tennessee 7-0. Back to Ian Eagle. All right, JB, thanks very much. That is really rare to get injured on a quarterback snake. Deep drop. Brady flips it to the sideline. The hands of Floyd. Was he in bounds? He was. It's a clean catch. And another first down for New England. Now he gives Brady a nice high target here at 6-2. Good hands, and let's check out the feet. Bang, bang. Good call by the officials. Control, but there's the ball thrown away from the defense, Howard, in the toe touch on the sideline. You think about all the guys that Vance Joseph and his defensive unit have to deal with here. Michael Floyd, just another in a long line of pickups and acquisitions that New England works into the system and gets the most out of. Brady tosses to the outside and Hogan. He gets tossed down by McCain, five yards on the catch and run. And that's always been the key for this pass offense on early downs, getting the ball out quickly. I mean, that, that seemed like it was under two seconds for Brady to get the ball out to Hogan. Teams always talk about, when I ask him, well, how do you stop the great Tom Brady? Said, we got to get him in long situations where he has to hold the ball more for the receivers to get down mm -hmm. for the necessary yardage. But on early downs, he kills teams with his quick release. Josh McDaniels now in his 16th year on the coaching staff in New England. The familiarity with Brady and that 
strong relationship that shows up on Sundays. Ooh. Well, that's not legal. And Dominican Sue may not be legal, but sometimes it sends a message. My goodness, he just drilled David Andrews. Encroachment, defense number 93, five yard penalty, second down. Now the difference between offsides and encroachment is encroachment's contact. <laughs> There's your <laughs> encroachment. Sue was pointing at the play clock, thinking that uh, it was running down for him. He's trying to anticipate the snap. I asked Tom Brady about Ndamukong Sue. He said he's as good as anyone will face this season. He's a beast. He's the whole package. He gave it. Andrews the whole package there. First and goal. Deion Lewis just went down. Yeah, that's that uh, turf that Evan Washburn told us about at the beginning of the game. He tried to plant with his left foot. There's his divot. Watch the left foot just slide right out. Nowhere to go but down. Loss of one on the play. 13th play of the drive and eating up more clock with a 17 to nothing lead. It's a team coming off a 41 to 3 victory over the Jets. A win and they secure the number one seed in the AFC and home field advantage. Brady. Dump off. Lewis nowhere to run. So it'll be third and goal. No gain on that pass from Tom Brady who's now 16 of 19 for 138 yards and two touchdowns. Seven different receivers, too. Tremendous balance, especially on this drive. But the uh, Dolphins smartly, Vance Joseph calling a zone that time. And there were plenty of Dolphins to rally to make the tackle. 279 straight regular season passes without an interception on the road for Tom Brady. Third and goal. Brady steps. Brady. End zone, nobody home. Edelman felt he was held by Howard. And the Patriots field goal unit will come on. I think Howard did a good job of forcing Edelman not only to the back of the end zone, but perhaps even having a step out of the back of the end zone. So if he had been able to make the catch, it would not have counted. Good job by Xavier Howard, the rookie. So another field goal attempt for Steven Guskowski. Made one from 40 yards away. Now 26 of 30 on the season. Joe Cardonia will snap it. The punter Allen will hold it. This is a 26 yarder. And he drills it. Patriots take a 20 to nothing lead. We've got 321 to go. First half. Miami offense has yet to get started. Better network because better matters. Bill Belichick's team, first four possessions, touchdown, touchdown, field goal, field goal, 20-0 lead for New England. We have 3.21 to go in this first half. Second field goal of the day for Steven Gustkowski. It's the first time both the Patriots and the Dolphins have made the playoffs in the same season since 2001. Big kick from Guskowski. It's coming back to the 25 for Miami. Dolphins getting shut out of the. Dolphins have it first and 10 at the 25 yard line. This is the 11th straight quarter where the New England defense has not given up a touchdown. Dolphins trying to change that with just over three minutes to play first half. Catch and run for Jarvis Landry. It's a first down. That is the first grab of the day for Landry. Just the second completion for Matt Moore. Chung and McClellan there defensively for New England. Yeah, Moore now two out of six, but that's an important one to get it to your playmaker to start a drive and then go no huddle and keep the substitutions defensively set for New England. Miami comes in averaging 27 points per game at home, 20 points per game on the road. Ajayi. He's ridden down to the 45-yard line. 
Nice block by Bushrod up front. Six-yard gain for Jay Ajayi. And a determined six-yard run, too. Big hole, and then he cut sharply into it and took on tacklers. He described his style to us as aggressive, <laughs> violent, trying to create big plays, breaking tackles, using his speed. And there's Ajayi getting to the outside, crossing midfield into New England territory. Urbic and Albert up front providing some space. That's eight yards for Ajayi. In that space, he's had effective runs off the right side behind Jawan James and Jermon Bush, Bushrod. Now we hit the two-minute warning in the second quarter. Patriots pitching a shutout. Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report. JB, Tony, Bart, Boomer, Coach Cower, latest NFL scores and highlights all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Two minutes to go. First half, New England leads it 20 to nothing over Miami. Both teams are in the playoffs. Just a question of seeding. Ajayi sheds one tackler, then puts the stiff arm to Logan Ryan. He's angled out of bounds. Plays an opponent territory here today. New England has lived in Miami's end of the field, not so much for the Dolphins. Six-yard gain, second and four now for Miami. Ajayi remains in there. Give it to him. And Ajayi is cut down by a Landon Roberts. Rookie out of Houston. Holds Ajayi to no gain on the play. Miami Dolphins owner Stephen Ross. They got to the playoffs, which is something they had not done since 2008. That was an eight-year postseason drought for this franchise. If you're reading his lips, he says, what are they doing running the ball there? He said all that, just there? Well, plus some, but <laughs> not like that play selection. Third and four. Deion Sims in motion. They come up on one minute to play first half. Moore throws it. A snare by Damian Williams. And laying out some contact on Malcolm Butler. It's a first down for the Dolphins. 11 yards on a terrific grab by Williams. It's 21st of the year. And it looks like uh, something Jarvis Landry would do with the one hand. And then this part right to the helmet of Malcolm Butler on the sidelines. Another first down for the Dolphins. 106 to play. Line of scrimmage is the 30. Shotgun Moore gets rid of it quickly. Asking Landry to create after the catch. He's across the 25-yard line. Brought down by Devin McCourty. Miami has all three timeouts remaining. And with 101 left, clock stops. We'll step aside back to South Florida in a moment. Strike gold and you could win Super Bowl tickets for life. Dolphins now with two timeouts remaining. They face a second and four with just over a minute to go in this first half. 51 yards on this drive. They combined for 30 yards prior to this possession. Moore over the middle. And it's caught by Ajayi for a first down. So the Dolphins are threatening 11 yards on that toss. Really finding their rhythm offensively now with the no huddle concepts. Moore doing a good job. Five for five on this drive. Moore. A tight spiral underneath, caught by Jarvis Landry, then driven backwards by the combination of Ryan and McCourty. Another timeout called with 36 seconds to go in this first half. Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report. JB and the gang back in New York. Latest NFL scores and highlights all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Dolphins are 4-1 and one in the division, the only loss coming to New England. They've won nine of their last ten games, including a three-game winning streak to propel them into the playoffs. They will either play at Pittsburgh or at Houston in the wild card round. Six and one at home, best mark that they've had since 2002, and they have played well against Tom Brady the last three times that Brady and the Patriots have made a trip into Miami, including Week 17 last year. When New England was still looking for the number one seed. Well, and after the defense held the uh, Patriots just a field goal last time down, touchdown here is huge because it cuts the lead. 
to 13. Moore has connected on all six of his throws on this drive. This is a second and five for Miami. Trying to get on the board. Moore looking. Moore has the time. Tosses. Bouncing off. Jarvis Landry. Terrific individual effort for the touchdown. Yeah, he is the guy that gives him tremendous energy. And how about tremendous effort here? He takes on Hightower here at the goal line. Keeps his feet, dives, and gets in. Now, are they going to call Landry for an unsportsmanlike conduct for slamming his helmet down to the ground here? The ruling on the field is a touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Miami, number 14, taking off the helmet. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the ensuing kickoff. But what I don't understand is he is off the field to play there. If he were in the bench area and had done that, they wouldn't have called the penalty. I don't understand. Once a player is off the field, what matter? What does it matter what he does? Is that a gray area in gray? your eyes? Absolutely. I think it's even more black and white. So Landry gets the touchdown. That is his fourth of the season. Matt Moore now with seven touchdowns and three interceptions. He was seven of seven on the drive. Franks tacks on the extra point. They go 10 plays, 75 yards. And don't forget, they get the football to start the second half. Kansas City loss as well. Matt Moore leads Miami down the field. Landry with a touchdown, but then slams the helmet, gets the penalty. And the Dolphins will kick off from their own 20-yard line. 28 seconds to go in the second quarter. Deion Lewis is deep, standing at his own 9-yard line. And Franks puts this one on a bounce. Brought in by Devlin, one of the up men. Devlin is hit along the side at the 43. Well, a slippery field. There's the plant and the slide, and that's why this ball came out on about six bounces to Devlin. When you think about the Patriots with two timeouts in the field position they start with here, they, Tom Brady doesn't need much to get Gostowski in field goal range. 23 seconds left. New England up 20 to 7. They have 238 yards of offense in the first half. Miami in jeopardy of giving up the most yards per game that they've ever given up in franchise history. Brady. Tossed towards the ground and Bennett in the area. Second down. 19 seconds to play. Need about 20 yards to give Gutzkowski a chance. They're at the 43. Career long at 57 is best this year just 53 but the way he had to remember his last kickoff almost went in the stands mm -hmm. obviously has the leg 19 seconds remaining on the clock motion man is Hogan fake it to Hogan and throw it to Edelman Edelman hit by Kiko Alonso holds on to the football and it's a first down for New England with 12 seconds left. That's a 14-yard hookup. We'll step away for 30 seconds and come right back. It's that time of year again when you realize you still didn't get quite what you wanted. That's why Verizon has the best deals of the year on the best network. Like a Samsung Galaxy S7 and Tab S2 for only $17 per month. And as if you needed another reason, switch to Verizon now and get up to $650 to cover your costs. Hurry in and get these deals on New Year's Day only. There's still time to get exactly what you want at Verizon. Right now, Dan, New England would be looking at a 61-yard field goal attempt. So you talk about getting him into range. Yeah, four yards does it, but six, seven, eight. Gives him confidence. And they have one timeout to work with. Brady underneath. James White turns the corner. There's your range. And that's eight yards with eight seconds to play. 
So now you're looking at about a 53-yard attempt. But because he got out of bounds, we still have a timeout for New England and a chance to get another couple of yards and don't have to worry about spiking it, getting to the line of scrimmage, just simply call a timeout. And this is on the heels of the Landry penalty, slamming the helmet down after the touchdown, and then Frank slipping on his approach for the kickoff. And you can only slam your helmet down or take your helmet off in the bench area. Eight seconds left. Brady, moving pocket. Throw to the sideline, and they get a couple extra yards as Edelman works the perimeter. The Four Jets, seconds left. Jets did this to the, the Patriots did this to the Jets last weekend, the end of the first half. Jets called a timeout. Brady still had a couple. They move it right down the field and get the touchdown pass to White. So here's Steven Guskowski. He's got to be careful with his plant foot because he's going to be putting it down. It looks like there's very little grass here where Allen is going to put the ball down. 52-yard attempt to extend the lead. Guskowski from 52 yards away. It is off to the right. And that's how this first half ends. Patriots hit the locker room with a 20-7 lead over Miami. The Dolphins will have possession when we start the second half. We'll come back. Verizon Halftime Report is coming up after this message and a word from your local state. This was all New England, Miami, some signs of life at the end of that first half. And big key because they do get the football to start the second half. Both teams are in the playoffs. Just a question, will New England be the one or the two? Will Miami be the five or the six? Well, it looked like Miami's going to get blown out at 20 to nothing and uh, the dominance of the Patriot offense. But be able to come back and at least get that touchdown yeah. to get the ball to start the second half. They're not going to go into the playoffs. If they were blown out, it would be a tremendous psychological effect on them. But uh, if they can hang tough and, and just keep the score reasonable, yeah. For their own makeup, they'll feel better about it. Yeah, you just don't want to be deflated going into the postseason with the potential of going into Pittsburgh. And still a question mark as to who's going to be a quarterback. Will Ryan Tannehill be healthy enough to play? Is it worth playing a less than 100% Tannehill or Matt Moore, who has built some chemistry with these guys over the last three weeks of the season? Uh, you see the way that Moore came back after a disastrous start to this game. That included an interception. But leading his team down the field to get that end zone off the great effort by Jarvis Landry just tells you about his makeup. Kickoff from Gostkowski. That will carry Grant all the way to the back of the end zone. Dolphins will have it at the 25. Let's check in with Evan Washburn. Evan? Well, Adam, Adam Gase felt like he found something offensively in that touchdown drive. More up-tempo. That's what you'll see here to start this third quarter from this Dolphins offense. Wants to keep with that hurry-up. Now, defensively, he recognizes the challenge of dealing with Tom Brady. So we have to play tighter on guys, tackle the catch better, and try and create a big play, which is something they've done all year long. As for the Patriots and this field, which we've addressed a number of times, Bill Belichick basically said, both teams have to deal with it. Guys? <laughs> yes, they do. Well, not after today, because Miami will be on the road in the postseason. Ajayi gets the call, and Ajayi is stacked up. Forward progress will give him a gain of three and a half. First half numbers. Miami finally got to that number after the long drive at the end of the second quarter. And the one giveaway was the interception. Logan Ryan picked off Matt Moore. Patriots 20, Dolphins 7. Start of the third quarter. Moore. Receiver fell down. It was Jarvis Landry, and it's incomplete. Now, the up-tempo is important, especially here in Miami at the end of the year. We've got 78 degrees right now down on the field, about 74% humidity. So by going hurry up, this wears down the Dolphin opponents. If they could take advantage of uh, that fact, it would be an interesting end of this ballgame. Dan, Miami is plus 54 in point differential in the second half this season. That's the best in the NFL. Third and seven now for the Dolphins. First possession of the third quarter. More throws. It's on time, and it's Devontae Parker for the first down. 
hit by Devin McCourty on the play. They'll move the chains for Miami. Now this is where Parker can be so dangerous with his size to break tackles. He's not going to break this tackle, but he gets enough to get across the 35-yard line by inches. He pick up the first down. He's long, 6'3", 212. Julio break! Julio break! Number 14 pick overall in the 2015 draft. Omaha! His ability to catch the ball in traffic, that was a big part of the reason why Miami took him and a big target, as you mentioned, Dan. Two-and-a-half-yard gain there for Ajayi with Malcolm Brown in on the hit. And when you combine his skills with Landry's skills and then Kenny Stills getting down the field deep, Stills averaging 18 yards per catch, still waiting for one this afternoon. Stills will be a free agent. They would like to keep this receiving core intact because of the chemistry that has developed in that receiving room. Give it to Ajayi. Break through the first contact, but not the second wave. Trey Flowers and Logan Ryan there to bring him down. Flowers has been a fantastic story for New England himself. Last year, limited to one game as a rookie, dealing with injuries, couldn't get on the field. This year, he has broken through for the Patriots. His nickname, Dan? Technique. Technique. Why? Why? Because the coaches keep replaying his uh, plays on the film through the other teammates and they say, how do you do that? He says, that's just technique, man. Just and, technique. And the nickname stuck. It works. Third and four. Moore. First down, Damian Williams. McCourty escorting him along the sideline and out of bounds. So Miami on the move once again. They're in New England territory. A really good read by Matt Moore. Finding Williams isolated on the outside. In fact, mix up in the uh, Patriots secondary there. Nobody covering Williams as he cuts to the outside. And it takes McCourty to come over and get him out of bounds. So Miami could not work its way into New England territory until late in the first half. Now a carryover here into the third quarter for the Dolphins. Moore's now 10 out of 15. Moore, again, hooks up with Landry. Oh, he tops up the football, and a flag thrown. Miami came away with it as Landry recovers his own fumble. This uh, penalty is going to be illegal motion against the Dolphins. But was Landry down before the ball came out? He didn't react like it Ruin was. on the field is a catch, fumble recovered by Miami. Illegal shift, two men moving at the snap, didn't get reset, five-yard penalty replay, first down. So the illegal shift will push Miami back. You can see the confidence, though, that Moore is, is uh, playing with right now. He got back quickly, set his back foot, and fired a perfect strike to Landry over the middle. Let's see if we can find out where the shift is. That's illegal. Landry goes in motion, and at the same time, Ajayi was moving. So that is two men in motion at the same time. Dolphins have lost a lot of key players. Pouncey, Cameron, Misi, Jones, all on IR. Ajayi remains upright with a spin move. Jay Ajayi, a workhorse, a grinder. Malcolm Butler missed him. Dante Hightower did as well, and he turns it into an eight-yard game. Well, the right side here with James and Sims, but making the first tackler miss. Look at that block by James. Butler can't make the tackle. Then Hightower, who's still dealing with injuries, problems, he can't bring Ajayi down. Power, violence, and a little bit of wiggle. Ajayi has a soccer background. He was born in London, moved to Maryland in 2000. Moore popped up in the air. Incomplete. Allen Branch, who's played at a very high level for this New England defense, now in his 10th year in the league, makes the play for the Pats. And this is the 15th time in his 10-year career that he's done just this, keying the eyes of Moore as Moore is being punished by Hightower. So now a third and seven. Line of scrimmage is the 40-yard line. The 
penalty interrupted a strong drive by Miami. Trying to make up for it here. Catch made by Stills. Did he get to the marker? He did. First down, Dolphins. Eight yards on the play. They needed seven. That's the fifth conversion now for the Dolphins in seven third downs. Inside receiver just running an out route as the other two receivers, Parker and Landry, clear out. Makes it tough for Logan Ryan to come over to stop stills. Damian Williams flanks Moore. Take it. Williams with the block. Moore with a clean pass to Jarvis Landry. And he's brought down to the 25, leading the charge, Dante Hightower. It's a seven-yard reception for Landry. Another positive play on first down. Dolphins right to the line of scrimmage. Again, you look at the, Do the Patriots' defense, a lot of hands on hips. Good indication that they're getting a little winded in this humidity and heat of Miami. And just like the first meeting, Miami was down big early, and they battled back against New England, gave themselves a chance to win at the end, or at least tie it. Second and three. Ajayi. Ooh, slam down. Ajayi hit by Trey Flowers for no gain. So back in week two, they met in Foxborough. Jimmy Garoppolo, three first-half touchdowns. Patriots took a 21-0 lead. But his day ended early. Kiko Alonso knocked him out with a shoulder injury. Dolphins came back. Kenyon Drake, touchdown, cut the deficit to seven. Deron Harmon sealed the win. Ryan Tannehill was picked off with nine seconds left. New England held on 31-24, to 24, the final. Third and three, they'll go empty here as Williams sets up as a receiver. They've converted on their last four third downs. Moore, look at big play, touchdown to Kenny Stills. Moore lays it in there perfectly. And the Dolphins are in comeback mode. Del Moore got time to throw and he recognized that it was a just a three-man pass rush. Eight in the secondary, but Stills goes right by Vinoy. Cover two, Vinoy looking around for safety help, doesn't find it. The toughest thing about that pass for a quarterback is your guy is so wide open. You don't want to overthrow him. You want to put it right on him, and Stills choked his motor down at the goal line to haul it in from 25 yards out. Ninth touchdown of the season for Kenny Stills. Matt Moore, after a slow start for Miami, the Dolphins have rallied. Franks the extra point 20 to 13 New England Matt Moore on the money to Kenny Stills New England still got the lead but Miami's got life and of NFL productions is prohibited Dolphins go 12 plays, 75 yards, 6 minutes and 21 seconds, capped off by the Moore to Stills 25-yard touchdown reception. He was wide open on a breakdown. Van Noy could not keep up with Stills. He was looking for help, didn't have it. Franks on the kick. Deion Lewis returnable. Lewis gets popped at the 20-yard line. Trevor Riley on special teams a momentum shift in miami well new england touchdowns allowed last two games have not given up one they've given up two to miami end of the second quarter and start of the third quarter now it's 20 to 14 patriots brady swings it to the outside catch made by white and Spencer Hazinger with a tackle, six-yard gain. Now Devin McCourty is going to be in a bind here as Stills will go down the sidelines and over the middle goes. Stills gets behind Vanoy. A tough one on McCourty because of the uh, speed of Parker at the goal line as well. Crowd has gotten into it here at Hard Rock Stadium. Second and four. Deion Lewis with a flag thrown. Lewis has a first down. Will it stand? No. Against New England. 
offense from the 69. 10-yard penalty replay, second down. And Shaq Mason on the right side of that New England line. That's just the third penalty against the Patriots this afternoon, but it's, it's a big one. They had some momentum after that first down pass completion of White to start the second half. The Patriots' last loss was Week 10, 31 to 24 to Seattle. Their only other loss this season, Week 4 against Buffalo. A win, and they clinch the number one seed in the AFC. Julian Edelman catch in traffic. He gets hit by Rambo. Gets back some of that yardage. They pick up seven. Officials get in between Edelman and some of the Miami defenders. Seems like such a, a monumental task to throwing a short pass and expecting the receiver to, to pick up the first down. Well, they're really not looking for the first down. They're looking to make this third down uh, more manageable for Brady. Edelman is now over 1,000 yards on the season for the second time in his career. Lewis and James White both on the field at the same time. Third and seven for New England. Brady gets rid of it quickly. Catch! Julian Edelman off to the races! Julian Edelman! Goodbye, Edelman! Touchdown, New England! Seventy-seven yards on the catch and run, and a silencer. Career-long reception for a touchdown for Edelman. Make one guy miss, that's Rambo. Remember, Rambo, one of the three defensive starters. Reserves are taking over starters today, and that cost the Dolphins that time as Edelman shows off his speed. A devastating block from Michael Floyd and Tony Lippett. Just now getting up. Also, Dan, that touchdown for Tom Brady gives him 28 on the season and two interceptions. That is the best single season touchdown to interception ratio in NFL history. Now, obviously, if you throw a pick in this game, that changes. But for right now, He's got the record. Yeah, I'd bet on him keeping it. 26 to 14, New England. And the extra point is coming up. Julian Edelman, seven catches, 142 yards, and a touchdown. There are a bunch of Patriot fans that are here. Well, that would have been a silencer, but there are a lot of Pats fans here. There's no question. And Michael Floyd is having a major impact on this game. He's got a touchdown reception, and he had the block that just helped spring Julian Edelman loose, and it was a crusher. Well, going through the protocol right now with Tony Lippett, who took a major hit from Michael Floyd on the block. Edelman did the rest. 77 yards on the catch and run. Three plays, 80 yards. Brady now 22 of 27, 251 yards, three touchdowns. For New England. That's a new career high for Edelman, by the way, with the 142. Goskowski kicks it off. This is returnable for Grant. Grant crosses the 20 yard line. And that's where Miami will take over. Van Noy on special teams makes the play. Sunday, January 22nd, 18 people will go on the run from a team of expert hunters. CBS presents the real life thriller, Hunted. Premiering Sunday, January 22nd, after the AFC Championship game, only CBS. Quarterback Matt Moore started the game just one of five for 14 yards and one pick. But since that time, settled down nicely, 12 of 14 for 124 and two touchdowns. So Miami now trails by 13 after the answer by New England. They'll work out of the pistol here with Ajayi in back of Moore. And now Ajayi shifts. Moore lost the ball for a moment, regathers, and hits his man Devontae Parker for a short gain on first down. Pick up four yards on the play, brought down by the linebacker Roberts. Good uh, poise that time by Moore as, uh, on the fake to Ajayi. Ball hit the ground, but he stayed with it. 
got the short completion. We asked Matt Moore about Adam Gase, a shoe issue right there for Parker, and he said, the head coach gives me a lot of confidence. His whole personality, his energy, the game plan gives me confidence, and Moore has performed that way. It didn't appear like Moore was in Miami's plans. Got to give to Ajayi. Barrels his way for a yard. Allen Branch, the hit. Well, after that disastrous start that included this interception by Logan, Ryan gets his great effort by Jarvis Landry to get in the end zone at the end of the first half. Helps to have big plays by your receivers. Williams with a good catch there. And Stills getting behind the secondary. And Moore delivers in the offseason Moore had a meeting with Dallas he was going to visit Indianapolis and then he was encouraged to meet with Adam Gaze by Chris Greer the general manager he was hesitant at first after five minutes in the meeting he said to himself I'm in this guy was different than anybody else that he had worked with Devontae Parker with the catch and picks up two yards on the play Logan Ryan there to bring him down Miami forced a punt and that might have been a case of going to the well too many times. We've seen about four or five crossing routes. That's the first one that did not convert into a first down because of the solid read and tackle. And it's Julian Edelman. Caught his breath. And will now return the punt from Matt Darr. High kick. Edelman settles under it from the 19. Takes his move. And hit before he got to the 30-yard line by Mike Hull, who's been an outstanding special teams performer for Miami. 53-yard punt and a 10-yard return. We're always there. Ten-yard return by Edelman, but it was all called back. Gino Grissom was called for holding, and it was at the point at which he held. So the ten-yard return is nullified. They go back to where Edelman caught the punt and then back it up so now the line of scrimmage is the nine yard line for new england and look who's back for miami tony lippett is back on the field for the dolphins and that will not go unnoticed by josh mcdaniels and tom brady because this type of shot here for him to come back after that i would think that brady would go in his direction here soon and often patriots pin deep in their own territory LeGarrette Blunt is tossed down. Jordan Phillips, and it's a loss of one on the play. Let's check in with Evan Washburn. Well, guys, despite that devastating hit, Tony Lippett went through the entire concussion protocol on the sideline. An unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant gave him the SCAT-3 test. That's what it's described as. He was given his helmet back, went through his paces on the sideline, and again, back out on the field. And right now, he is at the top of the screen. Brady looking, and Brady, it's incomplete. Jordan Phillips on back-to-back -back plays for Miami. And the third time this season that Phillips has deflected a pass at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back plays, look at that right hand go way up in the air. He's 6'6 to start with, but he had a little bit of hang time on this. Well, he's a space eater. You mentioned the height, he's 335 pounds. And his second year, second round pick from Oklahoma. This is a big play defensively for Miami. Third and 11 for New England. They've got a 27 to 14 lead. Shotgun, Brady tosses to Edelman. And Edelman is short on the first down. Jason Jones over there defensively for Miami. They needed 11, they got 9, and the Patriots will punt. And that just shows you how big a penalty on special teams can be. As Edelman had a good return, but it was wiped out, backed the Patriots up, and three plays later, their special teams are on the field. Edelman was limping as he made his way back to the New England sideline, pointing to that right leg. Ryan Allen, the punter, to Keen Grant. Potential for excellent field position. Grant brings it in cleanly, but lost it at the end. At the 41-yard line, Grant jumps on top of it. 42-yard punt, no return. 
27-14. Dolphins trail the Patriots 27-14 with 3.03 to go in the third quarter. Miami takes over with a first and 10 at its own 41. Handoff to Ajayi. And picks up two yards on the play. Headlinesman John McGrath working his final regular season game today. He's retiring after the season. John, an NFL official for 15 years working one Super Bowl. And football's in his family. His dad was a football coach growing up. His brother Bob working today's game in the replay booth. John, congratulations on a terrific run. I think he can hear you. Was he listening? I just think so, now? yes. It's as if right at that moment he knew what I was saying. Second and eight. Moore hits his man, Ajayi. And Ajayi held to three yards through the air. Eric Rowe with the tackle. I was surprised that Ajayi could hang on to this ball because Rowe was closing quickly and made good contact. But Ajayi with those big strong hands, watch him hang on to this one. We are under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Miami faces a third and five. Moore steps up, wobbly ball. There was a lot of heat on Moore. Eric Rowe had a chance at an INT, and Miami goes three and out. I think Migovich got in there. Watch number 50 right to the arm of Moore and another uh, third down stop by the uh, Patriots. So Matt Darr putting it to Julian Edelman. Dolphins unable to take advantage of good opening field position. End over end. Edelman hauls it in cleanly at the 16. And that is where the Patriots will take over, 38-yard punt. Last week, the Dolphins opened their doors to 125 children from local elementary schools for their holiday toy event. The students enjoyed a fun day of games, crafts, and gifts with Dolphin players and cheerleaders. Seemed like a good time. Miami was not having a good time early in this game. They turned it around, made a game of it, but New England with a big statement on the Edelman catch and run to build the lead back up to 13. And their defense with a couple of uh, third down stops, giving the ball back to Brady and company. From the 16 yard line, 359 yards of offense for the New England Patriots. Miami has given up the most yards defensively in franchise history this season. Martellus Bennett, the intended target, defended by the former Buffalo Bill and Washington Redskin, Bakari Rambo at second and ten. New England, number five in total offense, number five in scoring, right on their season average, 27.1 per game. They lost in the season finale last year in Miami, 20 to 10. A cut from Michael Floyd. And that's good enough for a first down. Brought down by Michael Thomas, 13 yards on the play. That's his thir third catch of the afternoon. But uh, the target that he gives Brady, and Brady so good with the dart throws over the middle and on the slant routes. Extra offensive lineman here for New England with under a minute to go on the third. Cameron Fleming is the sixth lineman. Flags down. Blunt and Devlin had set up in the backfield. Ball start, offense, number 71, five-yard penalty, first down. And it's Fleming who's called on the false start. And it was uh, headlinesman John McGrath <laughs> who wanted a little more airtime, perhaps. 
And LeGarrette Blunt was trying to make his case to McGrath. What he got? Now, a little tiny flinch, but John McGrath with the sharp eyes caught it. Dolphin players did too. 34 seconds to go in the third. First and 15 now. Deion Lewis is in. And nothing there for Lewis trying to soften up the gut of the defense. But Jordan Phillips and Terrence Fade bring him down. Uh, Phillips has been real solid the last couple of plays. A couple of tackles, a pass deflected. And this is where the Dolphins want to be able to give Brady a couple of different looks, try to get pressure on him, create some type of turnover. Are they going to run a play? They are not. Trying to get Miami to jump. And that's how the third quarter will end. The Patriots with a 27-14 lead over the Miami Dolphins. We'll come back to South Florida after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on the New England Patriots with a win, clinch home field advantage, or Oakland loss or tie. Miami trying to get the number five seed, and what's the significance there? You would go to Houston instead of going to Pittsburgh in the wild card round next week. Start of the fourth quarter, Iron Eagle, Dan Fouts, Evan Washburn, the rest of our NFL on CBS crew, producer Mark Wolf, Bob Fishman and company, our director. Second and 16 for New England. Brady tosses, sideline. Catch is made by Hogan with a flag down back at the 16-yard line. And another penalty against New England. Holding. Holding. Offense, number 62. 10-yard penalty. Replay, second down. It's the rookie, Joe Tooney, called on the hold. Working against Phillips, who's been a, a difference maker here in the second half with a little bit of a takedown. But the reason that that's holding is because it's a long yardage situation. Brady has to hold the ball longer. These linemen are more used to him getting the ball out quick. But that time it cost him. And now the Patriots are looking at a second and 26. Brady steps up. That ball was tipped. Incomplete. Edelman, the intended receiver. Brady was knocked down after the throw. Now he was knocked down by Phillips, but it was good pressure by number 91, Cameron Wake here. Working against Cannon. That defensive line now is starting to show why they're the best unit on this defense. Led by Phillips. Tom Brady, 292 straight passes on the road without a pick. This is a running play. And James White is hit by Spencer Pazinger. They pick up seven yards. Patriots go conservative. And why not? It was third and long. They'll play the field position game right now and punt it away. Jarvis Landry setting up at his own 33-yard line. And part of that conservative call is that Brady was on his back on the previous play. Quick snap to Ryan Allen. Allen goes to the other side of the field from where Landry had initially planted himself, and it's out of bounds. Landry never touches it. Miami has three straight home wins against New England. Go back to 2013. Michael Thomas in his first game as a Dolphin intercepted, intercepted Tom Brady to seal the win. 2014, Brady sacked four times in the 33-20 Miami victory. And then last year, Devontae Parker, 106 yards and a touchdown. Miami won that one 20 to 10. Brady today is 24-32, 273 yards and three touchdowns. Patriots have done a good job of containing the long ball, big play in this Miami pass offense of uh, more 16 completions just for 147 yards. The one big play was the touchdown to Kenny Stills. Play fake. Moore works it to Stills along the perimeter and tried to curl it upfield. Logan Ryan limited him to a five-yard pickup. That just put Miami over 200 yards of offense. New England is at nearly 400. 
you got to give Matt Patricia, defensive coordinator, a lot of credit for knowing what his opponent's strength is. And the big play has been so important from this Miami defense, especially in the passing game. He's taking that away so far. Miami's actually running the fewest plays per game this season in the league, averaging 57 offensive plays per game. More at the play action. He hits Jarvis Landry, and they're in New England territory. Rob Ninkovich with a tackle, 13 yards. More to Landry. That tackle by Ninkovich uh, prevented a big gain for Landry, as after he catches the ball, he's going to do a 360 spinorama here. Nikovic playing at a defensive end, dropping into coverage as Hightower misses, but Nikovic does not. Line of scrimmage is now the 49, six catches, 53 yards, a touchdown for Landry. Play fake. Floater is incomplete. Ball was tipped. Landry felt that there was contact. Now he's just disappointed this ball was tipped because he had a step. And if he makes this catch with his speed, he might go quite a ways down the field. Let's check out to see who gets credit for tipping this ball right there. Looks like uh, Chris Long. Look at that ball get out of spiral. Got a piece, and it threw off the timing. Second and ten. Back to Ajayi. Ajayi taking it to the outside. He turns the corner. The acceleration by Ajayi for a first down. Deion Sims with a block on the outside. 11-yard run for Jay Ajayi. Larry McTunsell, 67, coming on the pull here. But Ajayi did not like that hole. Knew he had enough speed to get around the corner. And another positive play for this Dolphin offense. That 11-yarder, longest of the day for Jay Ajayi. Ajayi leads the NFL in broken tackles this season. We are under 12 minutes to play. Miami down 13. Moore releases to Jarvis Landry. And quickly brought down after the catch. Ninkovich among those there for New England. Three-yard pickup through the air. But that's, we talk about ball placement all the time. When you force a receiver to come off his feet to jump for a ball, he's lost everything. The defense has that nanosecond to react. Landry is so good after the catch, wasn't able to do anything with it because of the high pass. Kenyon Drake is now in, the rookie out of Alabama, third round draft pick. He's averaging 5.8 yards per carry this season. Moore gets rid of it to Landry. It's a first down for the Dolphins across the 25 yard line. That play covers 12 yards. Jarvis Landry in his third year in the NFL, the second most career catches for a wide receiver in his first three years in the league. The only one ahead of him, his former college teammate and his close friend Odell Beckham. And Beckham really because uh, the, his spectacular catches and playing in New York has overshadowed him, but they, they do have a tremendous friendship and a competitive desire between the two of them. New set of downs for Miami. Yeah, over the middle. He hits Devontae Parker. First down, Dolphins. 18-yard bullet from Matt Moore. And this time, a high throw is good because it's away from the defense. And when your receiver's as tall as Parker at 6'3", he'll go up and get it in front of Chung. Offensive line doing a great job. And Parker ought to go back and shake their hands because uh, Moore has not been sacked today. And in the second half, Patriots aren't getting anywhere near him. Dolphins are in business with a first and goal. Most of the damage has been done through the air on this drive. They'll go back to the ground with a flag down. Ajayi bangs his way inside. Penalty marker thrown at the eight, met by Malcolm Brown. I think they had two men in motion again. Took Brandon Albert a long time to get into his stance as Jar uh, Le Jarvis Landry was shifting. Illegal motion. Offense number 14 moving forward at the snap. Five-yard penalty replay, first down. Uh, and that's a call that's just never made anymore. You always see receivers and backs moving towards the line of scrimmage as the ball snapped. Landry a little confused as to when to start because he saw Albert come up out of his stance. It's 
So now the line of scrimmage is the 11-yard line. It remains first and goal for Miami. From the pistol, Moore on the move. A little dart to Kenny Stills, and he's tossed down by Butler. Three yards on the catch for Stills. Second and goal for the Dolphins, down to 9.20 and ticking left in the fourth quarter. New England has a cushion. They're up by 13. They had better do something about getting after Matt Moore. The offensive line, in the limited time that Moore has played, he's thrown 86 passes and only been sacked once. And I don't even think he's been knocked down, but maybe once or twice today. Second goal for Miami. Out of the gun. Moore steps up, throws it underneath. Ball pops free! Scooped up along the sideline by McClellan. Shay McClellan, he's got blockers. McClellan out of bounds. Damian Williams on the chase down. Now Williams made the catch, tried to spin back to the inside. Knew he didn't have enough for the goal line. And the ball is going to be popped out here. Looks like... Uh, McCourty closes and punches it out with his right hand and then McClellan thinking he's got glory in front of him but a long way to go tremendous effort here to make the tackle though as Williams comes back but there's the punch out here by McCourty a game changer Miami driving in a goal to go situation the fumble by Williams Matt Patricia's defense makes the play. McClellan takes it back inside the Dolphins' 20. Turnover has been confirmed. New England up by 13, and now they can add to it. And about to go 8-0 on the road, which is a remarkable accomplishment in this day. Brady and David Andrews trying to get on the same page here. They give it to Deion Lewis. Lewis keeps the legs churning. Out across the 15-yard line, and Dominican Sue will get credit for the stop. That's a seven-yard run for Deion Lewis. 8.20 to go in the fourth quarter. And you can hear the chants from the Patriot fans here. MVP. Could he win? Even missing the first month of the season. He's got a lot of competition this year. Matt Ryan's having a fabulous year. And, of course, you talk about the two Dallas rookies, Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott, although they may split the vote there. It'll be interesting. Tremendous numbers for Brady. Second and three for New England. Edelman goes in motion. Brady throws to the outside to Hogan. And he's ridden. Out of bounds by Bobby McCain. If Brady were to win the MVP award, he'd be the oldest MVP in league history. Who's currently the oldest MVP award winner? Have to go back to 1959. Jim Brown. Charlie Connerly. Of the Jets, old number 40, of the Giants, excuse me. Excuse me, please, number 42. I got How about that? Right. Amazing. And Brady will have a shot at it. Matt Ryan is going to get a lot of votes and may win it this year for Atlanta. Derek Carr was in the conversation prior to the injury. Not even the injury that cost him the season, but the pinky injury that slowed down his numbers. And a disastrous loss to Kansas City. 47! First and goal for the Pats. Running play. Blunt's going to touchdown make it. LeGarrette Blunt. Can they bring him down? Well, they're not going to let him get to the goal line, at least not on this play. We're talking about six defensive players taking on 250-pound sledgehammer LeGarrett Blunt. Blunt looking for rushing touchdown number 18 here. Tries to go low there. And Lippitt in uh, one of the first trying to rip the ball out. Second and goal for New England. Hand it to Blunt. Contact. And no gain. And Dominican Sue. 
a physical force in his own right, and he and Blunt just shoved one another. And the play initially made by Jordan Phillips. They were running right at him, and then Sue kind of comes over late to clean up. Uh, Sue is still steaming. Sue from Portland, Oregon. LeGarrette Blunt attended the University of Oregon. Handoff. LeGarrette Blunt. Touchdown, Patriots. Number 18 for LeGarrette Blunt. A celebration in the end zone for New England. And the Patriots are five and a half minutes away from a perfect 8-0 road record this season. Uh, James Devlin does a great job on the linebacker Alonzo, although he could have been called for holding for hooking him around the neck. But uh, that would not have stopped Blunt from getting into the end zone. He took on seven, seven tacklers on the first down and then ran into Phillips and Sue on second down. And then it, it's one of those body blows where defenses see this big guy coming at him. How many times have we seen him late in the game go in for a touchdown untouched? Mm -hmm. Standing up. Did it last week. Patriots are going for two here. Ready underneath. They get a two-point rep. And a flag down. Julian Edelman on the conversion. This looks like it's going to come back. The Patriots are walking off. And Miami, Two point a lot of joy. After the score, personal foul, face mask, defense from the 32. 15-yard penalty on the ensuing kickoff. A lot of words exchanged between these two teams. It's been physical. It's been fiery. And it's been New England with the big plays when necessary. The turnover leads to the blunt touchdown. He was untouched going to the end zone. And then Edelman tacks on two more. New England will finish four. Two takeaways for New England. They've turned that into 11 points on the scoreboard and now lead it 35 to 14. Plus 12 turnover differential on the season for the Patriots. That's 14 takeaways in the last six games. They had nine through the first 10. And in Drake. Patriots elected not to send this one skying through the back of the end. Is that really the way you want to ring in 2017 <laughs> if you're those two young ladies? I know they want to get those shirts back in a hurry. <laughs> They've been everywhere this year. Unwashed. 5.27 to go in the fourth. Kenyon Drake is stood up and forward progress after the gain of three. Tonight on CBS, when someone is kidnapped, this is the team that brings them back alive. Catch the series premiere of the new thriller, Ransom. That's tonight after 60 minutes, only CBS. Second and long here for Miami. We're down to five minutes remaining. So the Dolphins will be in the playoffs. First time since 2008. They lost that year to Baltimore, 27-9. Pass to Jarvis Landry, and he ducks out of bounds just across the line to gain. So a first down for the Dolphins. They haven't won a playoff game since beating Indianapolis back in 2000. Will Ryan Tannehill return? That's the question facing the Miami Dolphins. Tannehill... Injured his left leg against Arizona. Kenyon Drake down low. Lost his footing. Two-yard pickup. All right, let's take you back. Last playoff win. Jed Weaver. Nine-yard touchdown catch. 34 seconds left. Sent the game into overtime. Mike Vanderjack missed a field goal. Dolphins drove down the field. And it was Lamar Smith. 17-yard touchdown. Miami a winner. 23-17. That.
was their last playoff victory. Second and eight now for the Dolphins. 396 yards of offense for the New England Patriots. Huge play defensively, forcing a fumble. Long return by McClellan. Moore hit as he throws and incomplete. He took a shot from Trey Flowers. Well, Flowers had such tremendous speed as he looped around the center there and gets to Moore again. When we asked him about his versatility, he said, look, I need to know the whole defensive playbook. We have a lot of players like that, so he has fit in nicely with the multifaceted players on defense that Matt Patricia works with. And we try to get a, you know, have him zero in and where we're going to see him. He'll see me all over the place. Third and eight. Moore again under pressure, this time Sheer providing it. And it's incomplete. Eric Rowe there defensively against Devontae Parker. Now it's fourth down. Dolphins offense will remain on the field. Or will they? Nope. Matt Darr is going to come out and punt it away with 3.54 to go. Well, you got to be thinking ahead to next week in the playoffs. So this is a smart decision by Adam Gase. Don't risk any injuries. Moore has played very well in relief of Ryan Tannehill. Well, this will be the sixth time that New England is seated number one in the AFC. Long punt from Dar, rolling. Miami trying to save it on a couple of occasions. Well played by Lafayette Pitts for Darren Rizzi's special teams crew. 52-yard punt. Um, slash playoff challenge. Well, that's it for Tom Brady. He will finish the season with 254 pass attempts on the road with no interceptions. That's an NFL record. Handed off to LeGarrette Blunt, and he sets the record for touchdown to interception ratio. 28 touchdowns, two picks. And these teams now getting into it. And Dominican Sue, this has been building in this fourth quarter. Sue's helmet is off. LeGarrette Blunt was in there. And that would be a match. Put them in a circular cage. I'd buy that ticket. After the play, personal foul, offense number 29, face mask. Down will count, second down, half the distance to the goal. So Blunt gets up, a push from Sue, grab of the face mask. And give the umpire credit for getting in there and getting Sue out of there. They always get the second guy, though. They, they didn't see the push by Sue. But the uh, removing of the headgear by Blunt it was easy to see. The umpire, Mark Pellis, is a brave man. Or not very smart. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's two sides to that story, but I'm going to go with the former. Okay. Back it up to the four-yard line, 331 left. Blunt remains in there. Some changes on the offensive line. Cameron Fleming in at right tackle. Ted Karras in at right guard for New England. 47. Hey, 46 is Mike. 47 is Mike. Second and 12. Toss it to Blunt. Circles and was fortunate to get out of the end zone. Tony Lippett among those over there. That's a bit of team effort by the Pats with guys stepping up. Tremendous effort by Michael Floyd here on 14-yard touchdown. And then he gets his block on Lippitt that sends Edelman 77 yards. Flowers with another big play at the line of scrimmage. And then the pop-out by McCourty and the 69-yard fumble recovery returned by Shea McClellan. And that's why the Pats undefeated on the road in 14 on the year. Great contributions up and down the line. It'll be the first time since 2003 that both Super Bowl teams missed the playoffs the following year. Back then it was Oakland and Tampa Bay that didn't go to the postseason. High throw over the head of Edelman from Garoppolo, and it's fourth down for New England. Well, the Patriots will go in as the favorites in the AFC. Dallas will be the number one seed in the NFC.
Ryan Allen punting out of his own end zone. Jakeem Grant standing at midfield for Miami. Backpedaling, Grant. And a collision out across the 45-yard line. Miami will have it in New England territory as Nate Ebner makes the tackle on special teams. 35-14. Pat's in control. Welcome to Miami, Dan. I thought the holiday was New Year's. Like Halloween. 2.32 to play, a give to Kenyon Drake. And not much there for Drake. Three-yard gain. Matt Moore remains in there. Would you consider maybe making a move here with T.J. Yates for the final two minutes and change? Now, it looks like they're heading to Pittsburgh, and they need Matt Moore. They're not going to have Ryan Tannehill. So, yeah, I would say, uh, Matt, you're done. TJ, go mop this one up. Well, Yates has got the hat on right now, and Moore heads to the sideline as we hit two minutes to play. 35-14. 17, New England 35, Miami 14. The Dolphins will be in Pittsburgh for the wild card round in the AFC playoffs. Hand off to Drake. Brought down by Vincent Valentine on the play. After he picks up a couple of yards. And now Drake is slow to get up. Makes his way to his feet. The executive producers of the NFL on CBS, Sean McManus and Harold Bryant, the president of CBS Sports, is David Burson. Today's game produced by Mark Wolf and directed by Bob Fishman, the vice president of remote production of CBS Sports. Steve Karasik, coordinating producer of the NFL on CBS. Lance Barrow, vice president of studio production of CBS Sports. Tyler Hale, NFL Today, produced by Drew Kaliski, director Bob Matina, creative director of CBS Sports. Pete Radovich, Jr. Damian Williams gets the call. And enough for a first down. The associate directors of today's game. William Thayer and Stephen Murphy. Broadcast associates Justin Haley and Kid J. Theano. Technical manager Rick Godwin. Technical director Terry Rosich. And the audio supervisor Kevin Little. Up here in the booth, stats David Freed, Wayne Richardson in the truck, and spotter to the stars Jim Stamus. <laughs> Which stars? Uh, I don't know. We'll eight. find a few Cut. for him. 40 seconds left. Give it to Williams. Want to thank our tremendous camera crew as well. We've been with them all season long. Happy, Dan, New, yep, happy New Year, everybody. Everybody, Bert. wish you the best. What a excellent season we had for the New England Patriots. They have home field advantage in the AFC and a 14 and 2 record. The calendar turns to 2017, but the expectations remain the same for New England. 35 to 14. The Patriots over the Dolphins. Miami 10 and 6 on the season. First playoff berth in, since 2008. The Dolphins will have to go to Pittsburgh in the wild card round. New England will sit back and wait to see they, who they host in two weeks. Final score in South Florida, 35 to 14. The Patriots get it done over the Dolphins. So a seven game winning streak to end the season for New England. The Dolphins had won three in a row until the loss.